Okay, so for Christmas, a lot of people have ham. Whenever I buy ham, generally I usually get a spiral ham unless there have been times when I've gone to like certain grocery stores, if you spend $30, you get a ham free and it's never a spiral ham. So I, who gonna say no to a free ham? You know, even if I gotta give it away, I'm gonna take it and give it to somebody. So anyway, so this is what I got. I got the Sam's Choice Spiral Cut Brown Sugar Double Glazed Ham. I got some corn syrup, some pineapple slices, and I got some extra brown sugar because I'm going to seriously make a thick glaze. Oh, and you need cornstarch. I'm sorry. You also need cornstarch. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so remove your ham from the packaging and drain put all the juice from the ham in the bottom of your pan um you're going to preheat your oven at 325 you're going to bake your ham halfway at 10 minutes per pound with your pineapples under each layer i just shingle them you don't have to have them under every single layer but i go ahead and do this before i put it in the oven because who wants to be sitting here trying to handle a turkey a ham excuse me after it's been in the oven. Okay, so um, you wanna do that, you're gonna cover it with foil, and like I said, cook it at 10 minutes per pound. Whatever 10 minutes per pound is for the entire t ham, do it halfway, cover it with foil, you're gonna pull it out halfway, and then you're gonna add your glaze. Okay, so in a sauce pot, you're going to add in your spice packet that came with your ham, some cornstarch, and some brown sugar. And you're going to mix those together with a whisk to get it mi well mixed. You want to add in your cornstarch and anything along with the dry ingredients so that to eliminate lumping and clumping. Okay, so then you're going to add in your pineapple juice from the can of pineapples and some corn syrup and you're going to let that come up to a uh, slow simmer and then you're going to let it thicken okay you want to keep stirring it often so it doesn't burn and once it thickens like this and it coats a spoon or a spatula like this, you're gonna turn it off and as it sets up, it is going to thicken even more, okay? Okay, now that you've taken your ham out of the oven, you are going to um, baste it with your glaze. You can put the glaze in between the layers with a spoon or a spatula or even a baster it's up to you and then you're going to cook it the rest of the way uncovered and then you're going to let it rest once you take it out and then serve 